Hello everyone and welcome to Playa de las Americas in Tenerife. A uh, big, big welcome. If you're new to the channel, I am Andrew. I do live here uh, full time. I live in Los Cristianos, just the next town along. And if you're retaining, a big welcome back. Well, here we are, the Mediterranean Palace Hotel. It's been a couple of years, refurbed top to bottom. It finally reopened a couple of weeks ago and I've been so excited to come and stay here, show you around, show you what's available and show you all of the facilities. So no underestimating, by the way, where exactly we are. We are on my favorite street in South Tenerife, which is the infamous Golden Mile uh, is where we are. So it's a perfect, perfect location for me, which is probably why I'm so excited. I just love the buzz around here, the beach, the bars and restaurants out the front. But the hotel, I've got to say, from what I've seen, looks fantastic. Uh, I've booked this direct online. I will be going through all of the information, what I've paid, how you can save a little bit of money as well if you're looking to stay here. I'm booked in for the night. Tomorrow, we've got breakfast included as well, so I'm excited to see what uh, breakfast options we've got. Hopefully, some nice coffees and juices. But let's get head, uh, heading in, get checked in as well. It's currently 2 o'clock, which is when check-in opens, which is quite uh, good. Most are 3, 4 o'clock, so 2 o'clock for the Med Palace, which is nice. It's currently 29 degrees. It's very hot. Let's get inside, get checked in, and go and see our room and show you exactly what I booked as well, because it's not a standard. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice when you arrive, if you are coming in a car, you have got some nice private hotel car parking just there. We're going to head down the steps and straight in these are all lovely new flowers and plants and i do like what they've done with the land landscaping and i'm gonna head in through the glass doors get ourselves checked in and ready to go i'm so excited to see this room what are you all thinking that i've booked because it's not the standard one i did treat myself a little bit for this night stay okay so reception just up to the left it smells lovely as soon as you come in there's a nice scent around smells nice Ooh, I'm loving the look of this already hey, hey right let's go and get ourselves checked in okay so I'm just checking in lovely lovely man helping me out and uh, very very friendly they have just offered me a glass of carver or orange juice as we check in so I've gone for a nice orange juice for now I couldn't do a carver I'll be in bed uh, but you get a nice complimentary glass on arrival nice friendly face smiling at you every staff member i've bumped into so far has said hello giving me a smile uh, so very very friendly welcome and he's given me tons of information he's just doing the last few little things with the card and then uh, our nice uh, butler or guest services is going to take us up to our room and that shows a couple of little things with the room a couple of little tips and, and tricks with the room and um, before he uh, comes back down so they will help you with your luggage if you've got loads of luggage uh, the bellman will help take it up for you, but also give you a couple of tips in the room as well, how it works, which is quite nice. So you're not arriving and going, oh, how to get the electrics on and all that. I think he's going to be showing us everything that happens with the room. And that's the same for every single guest as well. They will show you exactly how to use everything, the air con, the electrics, the doors, everything like that. So I do like that touch. Okay, so here we are then on the fifth floor. We are room 5037, which is nice and close to the lifts, conveniently. So we've got our room card here, nice and floral, a bit like my shirts. And here we go then. Well, here we are then, everyone. This is our double room with sea view, and this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Let's quickly check. The view, oh, so we've got pool and sea view. Look at that for a view, everyone. That is stunning. Wow, oh, this is gonna be nice. Ho oh, ho. Right, so let me put my bags down and everything, and we'll do a proper little room tour, show you everything that's here. I'm, oh, I'm loving the decor, I'm loving this, this is awesome. Right then, everyone, so let's take a tour of an ocean view room here in the Mediterranean Palace. Starting off, you do have to put your room card in to get the electric on. Just here is the air conditioning. Always make sure it's on. And the gentleman came up to the room, helped me, showed me everything. And he said, have it set to 21 and on. And that will keep the room nice and cool on those hot summer days. It is 29 degrees outside. The other thing that he showed me before we go around the whole thing is the uh, safe, how it works. You literally just close it, hold your card against this. It will lock and then the reverse to open it. So it's locked, hold the card there, you'll hear it open, 
and pull it open. Really easy that. Quick and easy, I like those safes. So, the first thing you are hit with is a gorgeous modern style bathroom. I absolutely love this. It's quite big, nice walk-in shower as well. Love the big lights up mirror. You've even got the little magnifier mirror there for uh, your makeup and stuff like that. Plenty of plug sockets for your hair dryers. You do get your little shampoos and stuff like that in the shower as well. And I had a really nice size shower that compared to what I've seen in other ones. And look at that, it's built in at the top. The nice rain head shower. I'm gonna enjoy one of them. And if you don't want the rain head, you can just use the free hand as well. And then just behind the door here is your uh, nice modern style toilet with the, uh, the main flush system built back into the wall. And I love that we get some robe and uh, slippers. I'm gonna put them on later on. <laughs> it feels nice and uh, luxurious in here. Quite a big bathroom now compared to others. And now obviously coming through, I love that you're constantly looking out at the ocean. That is lovely. You have obviously got the hotel in front, but the ocean view does make a nice difference. Massive bed. Might not show on camera just how big that is. That's gotta be king, queen, queen size, I reckon. And then all just modern open fittings. Like the two light features. It's mainly the lighting that I'm loving. I'd love to get all this in my house. So you have got your kettle, a few bits to make a tea and a coffee if you want to, you're safe underneath. And just in here is a little mini fridge. So you can keep a few bits in there, nice and cold, some drinks. And then these are, are built for exactly what they are. You see these on the Lexa cruise ships. So they're built for that tourist sort of purpose. You've got all your space for your suitcases, different shelving drawers. You'll see those, uh, that little platform there, balance your cases on that. Plenty of hanging space. So you've got quite a lot of hangers there. And then more hanging space here. So I think same amount of space that there used to be. It's just done out a little differently. You haven't got doors on there, which is quite modern style. I think they have obviously gone for a bit of future proof in here since it's been such a big refurbishment, taking such a long time and everything. The refurbishment they've done, this should last for many, many years now. They have definitely future proofed the hotel. So in a lot of cases now, less is more. Now I have spotted one thing that my uh, friend in Liverpool will uh, certainly like, who is an electrician. These here, so you've got the plug socket, but you've also got USB-C and USB. So you can just bring your wire with you. You're not gonna mess around with plugs and adapters pop it straight in, so I'll just charge my phone on the USB-C. Nice little uh, table there to leave my phone on to charge overnight. These as well, very clever. When you move them in, they go off, and when you pull them out, they come on the little reading lights there. So they're nice and simple to use. Little chair to sit on if you're just chilling. Little bit of a desk as well, so you could sit on this chair and do a little bit of work if you wanted to. Plug your laptop in again, you've got more USB and USB-C chargers under the TV. Nice full length mirror, which is an acquire, a requirement in uh, accommodation and hotels to have a full length mirror so you can see a nice full outfit. But it's this outdoor area here and these views which are gonna be the absolute winner for me. Let's see if we head on outside. Now the air conditioning will not work if you open the doors, bear that in mind. So. The doors have to be closed, the card has to be in. And here we go. Look at this for a view. Gorgeous. Got the main pool down here, the kids' splash zone. And then the ocean view as well. And that beach right there is one of my favorites in Tenerife, El Camason. So we've got El Camason out the back, Gold Mile out the front. This is prime location for me. Now on the balcony itself, you've got nice pull out Space there to dry some clothes. Nice table and chairs to sit on. Quite spacious, not enough space for a sunbed, but quite spacious to sit out. Just enjoy the views. I like that, definitely. I'm gonna discuss price in a moment and how much extra I've paid to have this view, because I think for the price difference, well worth it to wake up to these views. 
I think is definitely worth what I've paid difference wise. Okay, so let's discuss what I paid for this room, what the price difference was, and how you can save a little bit of money if you do want to stay in the Med Palace. So just for clarity, uh, when I did announce that I was staying here, a few people did say uh, that maybe I'd been sponsored to come in or they'd invited me down. I booked this completely off my own back. I uh, always said I was going to try and spend and stay a night here. Uh, so that's what I've done. I've actually booked it direct with the hotel and I have paid. So the price I paid for this room, the Ocean View, uh, with breakfast is €229 Euros for the night. Um, so certainly not uh, cheap by any means and not budget. However, uh, it is a five-star hotel. It has just been done up and you've got to remember where we are location-wise. So uh, you will see some gorgeous hotels across Tenerife. Uh, a lot of five stars as well, but a lot of them, they are a little bit out of the way. Uh, with here, you're going to step out the reception and you're right on the Golden Mile on that main strip. Easy access. Uh, you don't particularly need a car, although if you do want a car, uh, I will give myself a little plug. Sanasty.com, that is what we do, car hire. Uh, that's what I do full-time, car rental. So I will be delivering quite a few cars here. I've already got some reservations for here. But you wouldn't have to have one. You could come out if you particularly use mobility scooters, anything like that. You're literally going to come out of reception straight onto the promenade, straight onto the Golden Mile. And then out the back of the hotel, as you've seen with the ocean view uh, that we've got, you have got El Camason Beach, one of my favourite beaches. It's gorgeous out there. You've got a beautiful beach club right there as well. So it's not all about the hotel and its facilities so much. Uh, it can also be location, because I'm sure a lot of you will agree, it just, well, obviously it depends uh, what kind of holiday you do, but for me, the room is lovely, I love having a nice room in a nice hotel or a nice villa, etc, but I'm always out and about, and for me, being able to be straight onto the action, across from Vegas Grill and all these amazing restaurants is massive for me, so you've got to consider location as well as its facilities and the decor. As I've said, I think they've really future-proofed the hotel as well, so... They have tried to go as modern as they possibly can, which should last them for the next 10, 20 years uh, or so, especially with the rooms. I personally like this style and this taste. Now, I have uh, looked into some other prices if you're coming for a week, if you were going to do bed and breakfast, if you're going to do all-inclusive, which is an option here as well. So for the double uh, ocean view room that we have, if I was to have checked in today, Sunday the 14th of July for a week, and um, gone with breakfast, it would have been 1,600 euros. Bear in mind, this price is in euros, not pounds. If I wanted half board, it would have been 1,800 euros. And if I wanted to go all-inclusive for a week in July, 2,404 euros. So it's certainly not uh, on the cheaper budget end, but it was never going to be. The money they've spent on it, where it is, it was never really going to be a budget option. These prices are all direct with the hotel. Now, what I've noticed is your booking.com, all of those third-party sites, they were all around 40 euros more expensive than the hotel website itself. The hotel website is running a bit of an offer, uh, which is how I managed to snag it for a little bit of a deal. Uh, they are offering a bit of a discount if you book in the next week or so. So do bear in mind, booking direct could well be cheaper. It's worth seeing if they've got any deals going on as well, like I got a bit of a discount. And as well, by avoiding those third-party websites, if you do have any problems with the hotel, with your room, the price you've paid or anything like that, you can take it up direct with the hotel and they will likely help you a little bit more than if you're with a third party because what they will say is, well, you booked with booking.com, you paid booking.com, go and contact their customer services with your complaint, uh, not all. So I always recommend, that applies to a lot of things, excursions, etc. cetera. Um, Booking Direct does take out that little bit of risk of going with a third party if you do run, run into any issues. I did another price check for later in the winter months, November. I went for right bang in the middle of November, which is a busy time for Tenerife. Uh, the winter months, very busy, or winter sunshine, etc. And the prices were not too much different. Uh, if I went for a week with just breakfast, it was 1,700 euros. If I wanted half board for a week, 1,900 euros. And if I wanted all inclusive, 2,500 euros for a week in November. So uh, there's an idea of the pricing. 
obviously always hunt around. They will throw different deals on. You may find in a couple of months, if the hotel isn't quite getting to the occupancy levels that they want, they might reduce the price. Or you could find it goes the other way. If the hotel starts getting very busy with demand, the price could creep up. So that's an idea of prices. It has fairly recently opened, so they could fluctuate a little bit, but they seem to be sort of sticking their guns and keeping the price nice and steady throughout the year with those checks that I did uh, price-wise. Now, I'm just gonna run through some of the other information that you may find useful as regards to the facilities, the hotel. So check-in is at two o'clock, which I think is pretty good. Most of them are four o'clock. Some of them are even five o'clock. Check-out is at 12, which again, I think is fantastic. Uh, because again, most are 10 o'clock, so you've got till 12, which is quite nice. There is an option uh, to add on and stay in a bit of a day room or stay a little bit longer late checkout at four o'clock. So that could be an option for you as well. Um, now, just to run through some of the other things that are on here on the website, it does say that there is a 15% discount on treatments and access to the water area at the spa and Oasis Wellness Centre. So we do get 15% off there. Different promotions. Uh, if you're coming from the South Airport to the hotel, if you wanted to book a private taxi transfer service with the hotel to get you here, it starts at 73 euros per trip. And for Tenerife North Airport, 165 euros per trip. If you wanna go for a private taxi transfer, if you're going for a public taxi, you'd be looking about 30, 35 euros from the South Airport to Med Palace. And um, some other uh, little different things to mention here. The car park is free for hotel guests. Again, you'll see a lot of other hotels, even the five star ones, charging for the hotel parking usually around five to 10, 15 euros a day or a night. So free to use here. Uh, you'll be scanning in with your room card and the barrier will open. Or alternatively, you can ring the bell, which is what I did, and they open the barrier for you. You just tell reception, obviously, that you're staying here. But that is a nice feature, free parking here on the Golden Mile. A lot of other hotels see that as a money maker, and they will charge you for uh, using the car park. You've got various different options with the room as well. You've got an ironing service, uh, laundry service as well, dry cleaning. You've got the kids club as well, uh, which is over 800 square meters. So if you've got the kids, you've got the splash park outside, big full kids club, which we're gonna be exploring in a minute. So they were a few of the main things I wanted to mention. Also, don't forget a lot of hotels are charging to use the safe. This again is included. So you've got to look at all these little details. If you're not bothered about using a safe, then it doesn't matter. But if you like to use the safe, a lot of them charge a deposit or they charge a daily rate to use it. This is included, parking's included, kids club is included, or everything, the pool access, everything is included here mostly. With the half board, if you're gonna go for half board, it doesn't include drinks. Uh, so the half board is just food, I think soft drinks, uh, not alcoholic. You'd have to go all inclusive to get the alcoholic drinks in there. Breakfast is obviously just breakfast, juices, coffee, and uh, we'll, shit, we'll, we'll see exactly what's on the breakfast menu tomorrow morning. Uh, not normally a big breakfast person. If you watch the channel, I don't normally eat breakfast. You'll have seen on our other hotel tours in Tenerife on our other stays, I don't normally eat much on the breakfast, but I'm definitely gonna be showing you around it and I might have a little nibble of what is available. There's a few different restaurants downstairs as well, so different cuisine. Uh, from different areas around the world, different food options. So in a moment, I'm gonna get down and start exploring all the facilities. But I've gotta say, I'm impressed with the room. Spotlessly clean, of course, it is pretty much brand new. So spotlessly clean, the bed so far feels nice and comfy. It's a little bit on the firmer side, which I prefer. Um, but yeah, it does feel nice and comfy. Everything feels quality, I've gotta say, and it's spotless. We did do a hotel stay in Costa Rodecki. Uh, a couple of months ago now, and let's just say it didn't particularly impress, especially for a lot of you viewers on the video, you were not hugely impressed. And if you go back and watch that, you will see, I think we actually paid a little bit more for that hotel than we paid for this uh, room here. And that one was a standard, this is ocean and pool view. So weighing up those options there, I believe that was, I think it was a four star that we stayed in there on that previous hotel tour. So. I think it's really nice also with the balcony being covered. So, you know, you're not permanently getting blasted by the sun. 
if it did rain, not that it ever does in Tenerife, you'd be under the shelter there. We can watch the boats come and go. I love that. The Fred Olsen ferry going across to La Gamera there. I love watching anything like that out on the ocean. Even just sitting on the bed and laying in the bed, you do still get that ocean view, which I like. I do like that feature. So the price difference, as I mentioned, was 30 euros, 35 euros, I think was the price difference. The cheapest room I could get for tonight was going to be 196 and we paid the two, what was it, 229, I think we paid. So I think for that price difference, let me know, would you have, would you have jumped up and, and made the jump for the upgrade? So it should have been 269 euros, but we did get the 15% discount on the website, which knocked 40 euros off. So in total, we paid 229. So a difference of around 35 euros to get the ocean and pool view higher floor as well it's normally going to be floor five or six for the ocean view room so a little bit of a higher elevation right it's time to have a little freshen up and get ourselves down into the facilities i also might take you out and show you what is around the hotel as well because that for me is the biggest seller it's where you are slap bang in the action so i'm just going to show you these qr codes as well if you want to scan any of it for information you can get the app You've got the accommodation services and the wellness and spa as well if you want to price up any of the spa treatments or the room service. I've also shown that QR code downstairs which gives you all of the hotel information. Now on your room card that you're given as well is also your Wi-Fi access and everything like that. So you do have to put a card on file just in case you use anything or you have any treatments or anything like that. They will charge it to the card and... Uh, just give you your meal plan as well so bed and breakfast and that's my wi-fi access password for tonight and today so all super handy everything's all on hand definitely handy if you've got a smartphone you can scan that and get everything up but if not the staff have been extremely helpful and very willing as well anything that i wanted to ask or get answers for they were more than happy to help me out so staff so far have been absolutely brilliant the reception was seamless i like that open casual style you know, a few different desks. It's not quite so formal and serious. It's quite nice and friendly, relaxed. You get your own little private counter. So if you've got any specific questions, you've not got loads of people checking in around you, it's nice and private. I do like that as a feature. So I've just left our room, which is just over there. And what I like, through the middle, you have got the glass ceiling. So that gives so much natural light in the hotel, looking down to the reception and the lower floors there the palm trees and the plants throughout but the natural light again makes a huge difference i feel that natural sunlight beaming through you actually feel like you're on holiday with the sun coming in got some cool like sort of hanging features there and um, it is quite plain i will say like everything is all um as you can tell quite plain white very simple but i think that is just the way the modern hotels are now they want it to look clean simple uh, yet modern so it is a little bit sort of plain looking you would say when you look at that view and um, whether they could have made sort of some different features with that they have gone for the glass which is nice all along the uh, I don't know how you call it the walkways but yeah it does look a little bit on the plainer side but we're going to jump in these glass lifts here the mirrors again make it feel much bigger we're going to jump in the lifts and we'll head down and have a look at some of the facilities but so far, I am definitely impressed. It's very clean, there you go. You can see the cleaner going along there, even just along the communal areas, just sweeping and polishing the floors. It's absolutely spotless in here. Bear in mind, even after a few weeks, you've still got you know a little bit of you know builder's dust and stuff still settling, and yeah, it's gonna have a, a little bit of settling time. This hotel, just to get every all the little tweaks right. When you're opening something this big with so many rooms and so many staff, yeah, let's jump in these lifts then and let's uh, head down hi everyone you see me in the mirror <laughs> let's uh, head down and check out the pool area which i've been i've filmed so many TikToks and videos of the pool area slowly getting done and when are they going to be adding the water and everything and now i'm here staying in it i cannot believe it absolutely awesome 
Now welcome everyone to the pier. This is the section of the hotel that I am most impressed with so far. Now this does remind me a little bit of uh, Wonder of the Seas Royal Caribbean cruise ship in some ways, but I think it's very, very cleverly done. So if you like a different variation of food each night, or you know you don't particularly like Spanish food, but you like burgers or vice versa, etc., you've got pretty much something for everyone in here. So it's fully open all the way down and you've got the nice strip of different food options so we've got noodles we've got seafood you've got a salad bar uh, you've got an actual bar with coffees and beer etc on draft so starting off with the beer options you've got Stella and local Dorada on draft so bonus points for that because that is our local uh, beer over here it's what we serve in our bar in Los Cristianos and it is very very nice a pint of Dorada and you've got Lavazza coffee as well different fruits, different wines, Canarian wine available as well, all locally produced, salad bar with all your usual, usual offerings, fruit as well, we are uh, known for our bananas in the Canaries, different little nibbles as well. So that's just sort of section one, and then in each section you've got slightly different themed seating, different things above, but it does all still flow into one, so if you've got someone who fancies the noodles, but you want to eat something else, you can all still sort of sit together and feel like you are together. So this is the one next to it, which is noodles. So I love nine eating, uh, noodles, Chinese, anything like that. So this is your Chinese food section here. Again, tastefully done with a bit of Chinese decoration, Chinese theme with the bamboo. Next door, you've got Coco Rico. So this does your burgers and your hot dogs and things in here. But I like the way the sort of seats change slightly. So it feels a little bit different over overhead and the furniture. Different decor on the fronts of them. Salty water, so there's your seafood section. Super modern, clean, and it does give me a bit of a sort of cruise ship feel to it. But I like it, it's open, airy, different themes, different sections, something for everyone. You can still all stay together as a family. You've not got to go to, you know, the Chinese one is over the way and you know, Johnny wants a burger and all that. Get whatever you fancy and you can all sit together in whichever chairs you fancy. You might fancy these metal ones, you might fancy the comfier ones over there. And here's your different seafood that you have, lobster, crab, mussels. I really do like, they've got like sort of the fishing rope above you. They've managed to really theme it into sections but also keep it open and everyone together at the same time. And then you've got no Spain, no game. So this is where you'd have your Spanish paella. Of course we are in. Spain, Canary Islands, so you've got to have your paella options, your Iberico cured ham, ice cream as well. They've gone for big Spanish style pots above your head in this one. I really do like this. This, I think, is my favorite feature of the hotel so far. The ice cream little trolley here with all your ice creams, coffee, juice over there, and then of an evening time, they could well have people on the little main stage here singing and entertaining you while you uh, have your dinner or your breakfast or your lunch, whichever you fancy. Now, if you don't fancy being in here in the air con, bearing in mind it is air conditioned in here, you can, of course, head outside to the outdoor seating. So you can come and sit out next to the pool area. It is sectioned off though. And you've got round tables, square tables, tables for two, bigger tables for families here all set up. And you'd have the staff, this little staff workstation, so this is their little cleaning station and everything would be here for them to set the tables. High chairs as well. So you could sit outside in the open air under the palm trees if you wanted, or you can sit inside in the air con as well. And these look really comfy. They'll probably look a bit strange on the camera, but they're quite padded on the bottom. So they probably would be quite comfy. They're quite wide as well, not too narrow. Yeah, let me know in the comments, where would you sit, inside or outside? Would you want the fresh air? I think on a hot day, you'd have to sit, sit inside to enjoy your dinner. But plenty of shade outside as well, if you don't mind the temperature, maybe in the winter months as well. Nice outdoor eating area as well. But I love the way they've done that. Favorite feature so far. I think that food section, the way they've done it. Uh, taste for everyone. Still feel like you're all together, but the different theme above your head, on a different theme with what you're sitting on, different tables, different colors. I think they've done that very, very cleverly.
Now, just as we leave the uh, wonderful food festival pier, uh, just to mention breakfast is at 7 till 10.30, lunch is 1 o'clock till 3 o'clock, dinner 7 till 10, and you have got snacks in between those hours. Uh, so you can have snacks from 11 till 12.30 or 3.30 till 6, you can come in and grab a snack. They do, please advise obviously that you wear clothing, men going to come in with a t-shirt on, etc. from the pool. And if you have got any allergies, uh, do make sure that you uh, speak to the chef, speak to the staff, and uh, they will let you know uh, exactly what is contained in each thing. They have it all clearly labelled as well and numbered. So just to mention that, but I think absolutely fantastic with that. We haven't seen much of the food. We'll hopefully pop back and see more of that. Breakfast will be down here tomorrow as well, I believe. But yeah, I love the way they've done it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Even you know the pier written above your head in the lights. Brilliant, that is. So here is our dream holiday universe. Uh, this is our activities board here. So just to give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, we've got mini discos, son delay. You got this is the club mayor. So this is the uh, different sports activities that you've got going on. Uh, you've even got a cocktail game that you can play. All labelled out throughout the week. So Monday, Tuesday, you can see everything that's happening. And then you've got the activities program as well. There is a lot happening. Football, uh, eight o'clock on Sunday, along with a mini disco. All clearly labelled out. Here's the kids club down here as well with all of their activities that's happening. Wow, they've got a lot going on. There's a lot going on there for the kids. If you want more information, go ahead and download the app, scan that QR code on the screen, the Mayor Nostrum app, and that will tell you absolutely everything that is going on. So we've just come out of the food festival pier just down the way there. Up these stairs is up to reception. And we're gonna go and have a look now at the pool and the fitness center, as well as the a la carte restaurants. So let's go and try and find where those are. The lifts go to every single floor. So if you've got any mobility issues or you can't do stairs or escalators, the lifts go to every single floor. So you're fully covered. And you've got the uh, toilets here as well for the pool area, so you can pop in. And that goes to the low, but I believe we're gonna be heading out here now to the pool area. Okay, so I've just come outside to the poolside area. Now the sports bar isn't quite open yet. That's what we showed a little bit earlier that wasn't quite ready. Uh, they're cracking on with it though. It's come on quite a lot. You've got table tennis out here as well. These are the a la carte restaurants. So these were the ones that obviously you're gonna pay uh, for your food in. They would be an upcharge. So you've got Diablo, which is an Italian, a sassy Italian kitchen. I like the sound of that. We'll have a quick look and look inside and a look at the menu as well, just in here. So you can see exactly what is available in Diablo. Okay, so we've got two restaurants next to each other here. We've got uh, Diablo and also Cole. So Cole is all meats and obviously Diablo is your sassy kitchen. I like the sound of that. Um, so here are some of the options and what you've got available uh, price-wise and then also what is included in the all-inclusive and half board as well if you go for those here's the main courses different pasta dishes and the prices quite a big menu pizzas here as well Ooh. more mains chicken milanese and of course you've got to have a nice tiramisu on the dessert menu at an italian haven't you so uh there you go a little bit of a discount option as well for you and then in terms of coal here is uh, all your different meat and steak options oh you can have a sunday roast in here here you go nice and if you come in from the public 20 euros so you can have a sunday roast you've also got the homemade meat pie sounds very nice i might end up trying that and then we've got from the grill, your different cuts of steak, strip steak, the 360 gram giant. That sounds a big piece, doesn't it? Bernays sauce. Sorry, everyone, it's quite hard to turn the menu. And here's your desserts as well. Creme brulee, apple pie, banoffee pie. And again, those discounts as well. Right, let me take you inside then. Cole and Diablo. Let me show you exactly what sort of decor we have. So we'll start with coal, just through here. Very modern, sleek style. I like that with sort of wood effect from the wood grill. It's very modern style, isn't it? Clean and fresh though, I'll tell you what, the aircon's lovely in here. And then you've even got the meat fridge here so you can actually see 
the cuts of steak. You can see right in to the kitchen, watch the food being made, watch your uh, meat on the grill and things like that. And there's your different cuts of meat for now. It is early on in the day, so I think they'll get more in stock later on. Now I'm gonna take you through to Diablo, which flows into one another. So let's go across into the Italian. You've got this bar in the middle, which splits the two. Love that, it's a nice effect. Hello. And here is Diablo then. This is the Italian. Different decor above you everywhere you go. There's stuff above you, stuff to look at. There's your pizza oven there, all your different Canarian wines. There's the pizza oven. That'll be getting fired up soon for all those pizzas. And you can watch everything getting cooked, your pastas and everything like that. They've done very well with the decor, I would say. Very well, I like the way it's themed differently everywhere you go, above you, seat-wise, on the floor, everywhere you look, different segments. You know you're in a different restaurant by as soon as you look around. Seats, tables, colours, flooring. Now, just next to the main pool area here, which looks absolutely stunning, you've got your little outdoor little bar, ice cream, snacks, drinks. It's mainly ice cream, coffee, beer, soft drinks you can have right by the pool. You can have the little uh, waiter will bring them over to your table or your sunbed as well. And this is really nice. Our room is just up around there. The pool is massive. Everyone loves the pool area at this hotel. But yeah, you've got a nice little outdoor snack bar where you can have a nice little ice cream to cool off or a refreshing drink. Okay, so we're just here with Billy, who's a lovely subscriber from uh, Kilmarnock in Scotland. Oh, You've been yeah. here before, Billy. Yeah, we've been here many times. We've stayed here a few times and in the Cleopatra Palace. We stayed at Christmas time before they shut the place down. Right. Uh, we're starting to get a bit run down and that, but we thought it's a waste retirement there. We'd come back once it was reopened. And it just reopened in the first week, arrived in the third. We arrived to a lovely room with a pool in the room. It's absolutely fantastic. The staff are absolutely top notch. Every single person, right from the cleaners all the way up there, they are. They can't do enough for you there. Yeah. Everything, everything's been great. Uh, I, I, I just. And you've got one of the gorgeous looking plunge pool rooms plunge up there. Pool up the top, just yeah. up at the top. You can see his lovely wife's just up there giving us a wave. She's better than you, better than me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, it's no. lovely to get an, a, an opinion from someone who's stayed here before. I've never stayed before, so yeah. it's nice. To, you've seen it before, you've seen it after. I've seen it before, I've seen it after. They've done it up well. The pool's lovely, the room's lovely. What yeah. would be your favourite part then? What, what's, the, what's the best change they've made, would you say? The rooms. The, the rooms, rooms yeah. are really up to date now. They, yeah. they were starting to get a bit out, out, outdated there, but they've really, really brought, brought them up to date now. Nice and fresh. Everything's lovely. Now, quick question, Billy. Are you all-inclusive, bed and breakfast? Are, are you bed, doing the food? We are bed and breakfast. Right. We've, we've done the food. Uh, in the mornings here, yeah, we tend to get the food cooked fresh. Right. The restaurant's very good because they've got a lot of chefs, just chefs, stroke cooks, standing about waiting for you. I'm an early riser. We're down there at 8 o'clock in the morning there. We get the eggs cooked fresh. We get the bacon cooked fresh. We get nice. everything done. Lovely and warm, everything. I've seen one or two vlogs about the food's cold, etc. It's only cold if you go to the buffet section. Right. The buffet section, the food is not that warm. Okay. But if I go to the buffet section when you can go up and get all your stuff all cooked fresh. So um, everything cooked fresh like you mentioned in there, yes. is that in the main restaurants or is that in the pier? That's in the pier. In the pier, in right. The pier, so yes, uh -huh. if you don't go to the buffet section, you can ask the yeah. order exactly what you want from you the chefs. You can order what you want for the chefs so you can get all your eggs, all bacon, all done, all fresh. Oh, nice. Absolutely lovely. Well, you've given me a great tip there because I've got breakfast tomorrow, so I'll be doing, I'll be doing your trick. Do that. And uh, get, getting get everything cooked go. fresh. Go early. Uh, go early, get everything cooked fresh. Opens at half seven, so you in there when it opens half I'm seven? No, 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 we're in there at eight, eight o'clock-ish. Eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah but eight o'clock. Oh, uh -huh. brilliant. Well, have a lovely stay. Enjoy your uh, your anniversary. Enjoy your lovely pull and pull room. So you've got a gorgeous view from up yeah, there as well. Uh -huh. But uh, thank you very much for uh, popping on and giving you us your opinion. You're having to get a, a very, very bright shot on the day. I know, I know. I've toned it shot. down a little bit. Where's it's a bit wacky, shots? but... Uh, we actually arrived and one of the things we were going to do was go to uh, Buddy's. Yeah. You bloody left. Oh, you you no. left when we arrived there. And I, I said to Jean, I says, well, 
McCann, go to your buddies. But well, I've come to you. In. I've come to you instead. Bring you back in, buddies. It's all open again, um, so I'm going to be back in later. I'll be in and out every day, basically. Yeah, all back open as usual. We'll see you then. Oh, thank you very much for your time as well. No problem at all. Okay, now, just to mention the gym, I was really looking forward to showing you the gym. The facilities in there are meant to be absolutely state-of-the-art. However, unfortunately, things do happen, and unfortunately, they did have a leak from the um, emergency sprinkler system the other day. So this should be reopening again in a couple of days, they've said, but unfortunately for us here on the tour at the moment, they did have that leak, and they're repairing it all properly, doing everything properly as well. So, unfortunately, I cannot show you the gym, but it's state-of-the-art. They've got a stretching room here, treadmills with all the TV screens in, um, bikes, you name it, all kinds of different classes going on as well. But at the moment, unfortunately, because of that leak, it is closed at the time of filming. But it should all be reopened. I'll include some pictures as well, if I can, on the screen or pop on the website. You'll see all state-of-the-art, brand-new machines, stretching, Pilates, you name it, all here, right by the pool. Now, just beside the pool is the brand new kids splash zone. So this is a great area for the little ones. It's got different little slides, splash zones. They can run around, play in the water. So it's a brand new feature. This used to be the football pitch, if anyone remembers how it used to be. Yeah, fantastic new little area for the kids. There's plenty of sunbeds around as well, so you can keep an eye on them, chill while the kids play. Yeah, brilliant new little interactive area for the little ones. And then just next door to that, you have got the brand new beach volleyball court. So fully sanded up. You can have a nice game of, uh, I say beach volleyball. Yeah, it must be beach volleyball. This must go up, I presume. I did think it, I did think it was going to be a tennis court at one point for a while, but then they imported all the sand. So it is uh, beach volleyball that goes on down here. So yeah, quite a nice uh, little section just below the pool as well. So it's just down a level. So you can't really see all of this when you're on the pool deck because it is that level below. Now, any, if any of you do smoke or vape, you have got a smoking area and a smoking section next to the pool at the back here, just up there are the stairs out to the beach. So you have just in this little area, got a bit of a smoking area. And I think this will be a little bit of a, little bit of a garden once all of it develops and the plants and the little trees start to grow. It will become a little bit more of a garden sort of area. But yeah, if you're a smoker, you have got this area right next to the pool. So as we heard from Billy, there are a few teething problems in terms of the gym and the sprinkler system, unfortunately, spring in that leak. But it's bound to happen when you're going into such a depth of refurbishment. Little things are bound to happen and they will iron out all of those kinks. I think it was important to get it finally open. It was delayed. Um, I've got to say I'm very impressed from what I've seen um, speaking to Billy there as well he um, sort of straightened out a few things for me and um, that I've read on Facebook and stuff like that and um, you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt and also as well bear in mind that my opinions everyone else's opinions shouldn't affect your decision obviously you do you if this hotel looks your style don't let what someone writes on Facebook etc put you off and you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt including my own opinions I mean I'm absolutely loving it but you might be looking at it going oh no I don't like that and don't like those chairs that Andrew likes and things you've got to take it all with a pinch of salt and obviously just do you if you think you're gonna love that big pool area go and enjoy it don't let someone saying it's busy out there put you off make a decision based on what you think uh, your you know your gut instinct instinct is so it's a shame I couldn't show you the gym, but other than that, everything is pretty much good to go. The sports bar is nearly there. That's going to be uh, another couple of weeks, I think, and the sports bar will be up and running. There's not a huge amount of sport happening at the moment anyway, uh, apart from the Euros final, which is tonight anyway. But I'm impressed. There is a nice sort of smell throughout the hotel as well, whether it's the cleaning products they're using, but there is like a nice sort of subtle, very subtle, not intense, subtle nice smell whether it's the new furniture or something there's something making it smell uh, very nice in here and it is not once you come inside you do feel a difference with the air con it is nice and cool some of them you come from the pool deck and come inside you don't feel any difference you can definitely feel the air cons kicking in and now in terms of the rooms a few people have said they feel or look a bit smaller and um, is feedback that i've seen now i believe they haven't made them smaller because to change anything structural in terms of room sizes, 
you know, big main walls, structural walls. That would have been a nightmare logistics wise, money wise, cost wise, paperwork wise. So I think majority of what they've done is all aesthetic. So I cannot see them changing the size of the walls around the rooms. I think it's just the decor that they've put in and the way they've, you know, done the wardrobes and things maybe makes it feel, some people have said they feel bigger. Some people have said they feel smaller. I think that would just be down to aesthetics. I can't see them. There's no way they'll have been able to make the, you know, the balconies smaller and change the walls and bring them in. It just wouldn't be possible or feasible. So the rooms are technically the same size. They were literally just gutted and then they've been plasterboarded. The light features put in, uh, which is probably making it feel a little bit different to how they used to be. But in terms of the actual walls and the, the room sizes, square meterage, it has not changed. So uh, bear that in mind as well. But yeah, I'm very impressed, loving it. Every staff member has been fantastic. I've met a couple of people around and about. I'm not going to interview everyone, but everyone is having a great time, loving it. Everyone mentions how fantastic that pool is out there. So that is my next job, is to get out there and have a swim in that lovely, lovely pool. Something to consider as well is this hotel is connected to its sister hotel just next door. Now they also get access to this pool with their key cards, they can go across the walkway from the hotel into our pool area here and vice versa. So the pool area does look quite busy. That is because a few people have come across from the other hotel for a bit of a change and they've gone around this pool area here. But there is still plenty of sunbeds available. They do look nice and comfy, all adjustable. Nice little table for your drinks next to it. Love that swim up feature. And also the other guests that I've spoken to have particularly mentioned they love the access that you can get straight out of the pool area, out the back, onto the beach promenade, straight out onto the beach. So I can grab my rucksack from upstairs, grab my key card, exit through the door just out by the pool, onto the promenade, and I've got the beach there, I've got the walkway. There is also a hotel discount for the Palapa Beach Club right outside as well. So if you want to go to the beach club, right on the beach, on your doorstep, you've got a little discount if you're staying here at the hotel. So I do like that feature. So as you come in here, you've got the reception, those lovely different desks to check in at and get all of your information. I like those, quite private, yet casual at the same time, not too intense. Coming out through the glass doors out the back area though. So you've got some nice different seating options, sit with friends, chill, and have a drink from the outdoor bar here. So you have got outdoor seating and a lovely full outdoor bar where you can get your drinks, your cocktails, your beer, your nice pint of Dorada of an afternoon or an evening and sit out and look at the views down over the pool area. This is your evening entertainment section as well as where you'd have one of the singers or entertainers on so much seating around i do like that for the size of the hotel it's needed You've got the nice grand staircase going down to the pool deck and here is your lovely pool area absolutely gorgeous so inviting how many of you would love to come for a little dip with me just now So this is your main pool area here and this is the little access point that I've just come out of where we can come out right on to the promenade and as I've mentioned one of my favourite beaches in South Tenerife, Playa El Camasón. This has got your gorgeous imported golden sand, beautiful beach umbrellas which is the more natural look. Again that ties in with the theme of the room doesn't it? If you think back to the decor, you know these little beach umbrellas tie in with what we've got. So obviously you can go back in there with your room card. How nice is that? Access straight out of the hotel on to the beach. And these are the same style sunbeds that you've got around the pool. So very comfy. This beach is overall very, very safe. You can see it's got the, the different rock formations purposely built to stop any big waves and the sand washing away. You can see some nice gentle waves rolling in today. You can watch the ferries going by. Got the Armas Ferry heading off to Gomera there different little beach bars but yeah you can come down rent the sunbeds rent an umbrella go for a swim in the sea have a snorkel get in the sand you can even chill here on the grass if you want to people set up and sunbathe on the grass here but to have this beach out of the back gate of the hotel is a huge huge cellar it's the front and the back for me i keep mentioning it 
out the backyard, in your back garden basically, is this phenomenal beach. And outside your front door is the best street in Las Americas, arguably the south of Tenerife, with award-winning restaurants, award-winning bars, all of your main shops, Mac, Zara, you name it. We're going to be having a look around that later on. Phenomenal atmosphere. So just absolutely awesome location. And just down here I'm going to show you is the Palapa Beach Club. That's where you're going to get a discount if you're staying in the hotel. I'm going to quickly show you that. And you can walk along this promenade here, which I do often on the channel. I live stream, I call it a mega walk. You can walk all the way into Los Cristianos, which has a more traditional feel to it. That's what started all the tourism off in the south. Or you can walk all the way through Las Americas into Costa Radecki, into Fania Bay, La Caleta. You can literally walk along this promenade for miles. It's about a three hour walk, but it's all along the beachfront. You've got bars and restaurants along the way. It's a world famous promenade with every facility you can think of, shops, drinks, toilets along the way. And you can walk as far as you wish. It's nice and flat. It's literally just like this all the way along the coast, all the way for hours in that direction. If you have a look on the maps, you will see, but it's a fully accessible promenade with everything along it. And you walk into different towns, get a different feel. And here's the Palapa Beach Club, just to show you. This is a nice beach club. This again, this was refurbished, literally, uh, probably 12 months, six to 12 months ago, this was refurbished. They put a whole new roof on it, came up with a new menu. I'm just gonna quickly show you inside. Here's a good little look at the menu then, just to give you an idea of prices and what's available. We've got pastas, we've got cocktail tasting as well, which includes three cocktails. Most of your other cocktails, nine euros 50. New culinary experience, kids menu as well. Ooh, a nice warm brownie or a homemade cheesecake. Very nice. Let's have a quick wander down, just to show you, because this was all recently refurbished, as I've mentioned. All new tiles, new furniture, new chairs, new tables. It does look gorgeous in here now. And at night time, sun goes down in this direction. Get a nice sunset, you've got nice chilled music on. Big grand bar as well here. Well, just got back to the room to uh, get my trunks on and have a swim. And they've left me a nice bottle of water and a little lint chocolate. Very nice. Okay, so it's time now for a little dip in this phenomenal pool that has an amazing reputation. I want to go and sit on those steps, that little uh, little circular bit in the middle, and have a little bit of a chill. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to take the GoPro in, have a little bit of a dip, and a little bit of a cool off before I have a shower, and we head out for the evening. Here we are then, for months I've wanted to come up onto this and have a little bit of a sit and a chill. And here we go, oh, that is nice. Gorgeous view of the hotel. You can just sit up here, chill, feet in the pool. Nice, I like it. I've always wanted to plop up into there. Never ever managed it until now. Yeah, our room is literally just up here. Yeah, it's a huge pool, you could swim in this all day long and the temperature is perfect not too hot not too cold just perfect okay everyone well this pool is just so relaxing i am fully in holiday mode in here it is gorgeous i can see the big rave about this pool it's massive the temperature is lovely and there are plenty of lifeguards around as well and different sections of it they have removed the fountains that were in the middle that's where that seat was that i went and sat on um i think that's more of a you know it was more of an aesthetic thing it didn't really do anything and i was just speaking to a gentleman there another lovely subscriber there's loads of lovely subscribers in here so hello to everyone i've spoken to uh it's too many to list um but he was just saying he used to stay here and they had the fountains on and he'd come down early morning but they'd be in there cleaning it and scrubbing the lines of it and it didn't really actually serve a purpose other than aesthetically it looked quite nice so i think they've got rid of that it's cost effective um to get rid and it, you certainly don't miss it, I don't think. You have got the uh, the pool pumps are pump, constantly pumping just here. So that makes a nice sound anyway. And it does keep the water moving. So I don't think the fans are, the fountains are particularly missed. 
yeah i'm loving it absolutely loving it by far i've got to say the best hotel in tenerife that i've stayed at and that i've toured so far um intrigued to see what happens with breakfast tomorrow a few people said the buffet food isn't particularly hot it's not cold but it's not hot it's sort of warm but many of the guests here just speaking to them they're all doing that same um trick and that same tip that they've been given to do by reception which is to go up and have it cooked fresh by the chefs so you get it nice and hot on your plate now as i've mentioned these sort of complaints i hear them all the time about most hotels and a lot of hotels not just this one not just because it's newly open not just because it's las americas but i hear the same things about uh, ones in costa Rideki, ones in los cristianos it is a, a common theme especially since covid so bear that in mind but now this is absolute heaven i would 100 percent stay here again uh, i'd love to to come and stay another night we'll definitely try and get a night where laura can can properly come down as well but that's absolutely beautiful. I think the rooms are spot on. The, the features they've got in there, how modern they've gone with it. And they are pretty spacious, despite what maybe you see. They are pretty spacious. So I, I can't particularly fault it so far. I really can't. Spotlessly clean. Gutted I couldn't show you the, the gym, but I wouldn't have been using the gym anyway. So that particularly doesn't disappoint me majorly because I don't use the gym anyway, although I probably should. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to have shown you that. But with living here, the reception have said, you know, feel free to pop back another time and we'll try and show you some of the other rooms and uh, the gym when it's open. The so Only a couple of the plunge rooms were ready. Uh, we spoke to that gentleman, Billy, earlier who was staying in one of those. You've also got the access rooms as well, the disability access rooms. And these rooms just off to the side of me, uh, just up here, are the family rooms. So they're rooms that are joined together. So if you're a family, uh, you've got sort of doors going between the rooms so you can have separate rooms from the kids but it is all sort of one apartment sort of so to speak so you have got family room options as well but no loving it i'm gonna have five more minutes and then i've got to get cracking because um i do actually have a job to do which is uh, give some car i've got to give a car out at the airport so don't forget if you do want to rent a car sanasty.com uh, we've been here for over 35 years so we can drop a car off to you here at the hotel if you fancy going out for the day or you want one to nip around in for the week etc give us a shout we can deliver it to your reception here and pick it up from your reception here as well um and also the bar we've got a bar in los cristianos buddy's bar uh, we opened that recently about uh, about nine months ago now which is a nice cocktail bar uh, just in the next town along los cristianos so it'll be about a 30 minute walk from here uh, so i've got to get to the bar as well uh, i've got to be around the bar and get some bits done so if you fancy a cocktail you fancy a walk into los cristianos buddy's bar as well uh, you may well see me in there i'm in and out all the time but as for the hotel so far cannot fault it one bit and the lint chocolate was very nice to chew on down in the lift on the way down hey 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 look at me just had a nice shower gorgeous rain head shower that my only concern would be over time is um, replacing that shower head is not going to be an easy thing and it will build up with them um, lime scale and stuff but for now brand new that was nice that was a nice shower i'd love to have that at home and now i look like i'm off to you know cobra kai or something bit of karate is all right the only thing they don't encounter for is that or count for is there uh, with the slippers you know if you've got big feet i am a size 11 i'm, a, I'm got about half my foot in the uh little slippers but uh, the robe's massive it does feel quite nice actually it does feel quite nice to get out and put one of these on but yeah i look like i'm off to do a karate or a ring walk or something uh but no shower's lovely water pressure was great was hot straight away the shower didn't have to wait ages for the warm water to come through pressure was lovely but yeah it's all brand new right now i just in a in, you know in a bit of time will that shower head that's mounted on there are they going to be able to keep that clean and replace? It's not going to be easily replaced the way it is. Because uh, trust me, Tenerife has very, very hard water. So that will build up with a bit of lime scale pretty quickly. These are very easily replaced, but the way that's mounted, don't know how easily that'll be replaced in you know a couple of years' time, year or so's time. But oh, lovely that. Very nice. I like the way the water came through hot straight away. Right, I'm going to get dressed. And we'll uh, get out. That was a nice shower, that. Very refreshing. I'm feeling good. Now, just before I get dressed and we head out, what I've done is just hang up a few shirts just to show you what it looks like. 
with stuff hung up. Because a few have said it, you know, it makes the room look messy having your clothes hung up, but I don't think it looks that bad hanging your stuff up. These aren't apartments, they're hotel rooms, so they're not really designed to, you know, for people to be sitting in here all day long. I think if you want to spend a long time in a room, you're better off with an apartment, really. Uh, I mean, how long do people actually spend in the hotel room to to sit and get annoyed about the clothes in the, you know, being hung up? It's just my opinion on it. I don't think it looks messy at all. I just wanted to hang some up just to show you an example and how much space you've got to hang as well. There's three shirts. Wacky ones, of course. Got to be done when you're on holiday. I like you put them up. You've got quite a lot of room for two people to hang stuff up there. Plenty of hangers as well. But yeah, I don't think it really. It don't, I don't think it, make it makes it look a mess really. And again, it, it's a hotel. It's not a an apartment. If you want something more like living space like that, I would definitely look at a self case of an apartment. If you know the clothes being hung up like that, you, you think it messes up the room a bit. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, this is, you know, see only the style. I was speaking to another gentleman by the pool who was saying that he used to stay in here and you would hear every little thing through the walls. You'd hear people even changing the channel on the TV. So I think removing the wardrobe doors is better for noise. Everything's wall mounted out. You know, if you touch the TV, it's not touching the walls. I think everything's been made to reduce sound, make it a more pleasurable stay. But it is a hotel room at the end of the day. And I think if you want like a living space and you don't want to be looking, you know, at your bed and your clothes and things like that, you're going to want an apartment more than a hotel room. Well, I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Better get myself uh, to the bar and do a bit of work. Just to note as well, I have jumped on the Wi-Fi that they gave me and uh, it is nice and speedy, reliable as well. You don't lose connection and it is quite a quick service, which I thought it would be. You have also got a Wi-Fi router up here as well, so... And the speeds are pretty decent. We'll see what the up upload speed is like. It's normally the download speed's pretty good. Upload speed isn't the best usually, uh, is how it works. They prioritize the download because everyone wants to, you know, watch reels and stuff like that and videos while they're here. But no, I really can't fault it so far. I really can't. I've always been excited to potentially stay here, but I really cannot fault it. And I think the style, style just suits me down to the ground. But do please let me know in the comments your thoughts on certain things, what you like, what you dislike. Do you like the modern style? Do you like the no wardrobes? I think I'd rather look at my shirts than have, you know, people next door banging the wardrobes at eight, nine in the morning on their way down to the pool and you wake up. I'd rather not wake up and not have the sound of wardrobes clanging than have wardrobe doors. But that's just my opinion. Um, so do let me know your thoughts on the hotel so far. Right, I'm going to be showing you all of the Golden Mile tonight. I want to show you just what atmosphere you're going to have on your doorstep. Uh, but for now, uh, let's get cracking, head on out, and uh, we'll then hit the Golden Mile. Right, so I'm just on my way for dinner. I'm going to go for a nice Vegas Grill steak, just to show you what is available in this area, if you don't fancy eating in the hotel. But first, I just want to show you some of the different uh, shops that are around. You have got plenty of uh, different options. Jewelers, sunglasses, pharmacy. There's a Pandora down here as well. So just as we head to Vegas Grill, I thought I'd show you some of the shops again that are right on your doorstep. There you go, there's your Pandora, 50% off at the moment. You've got Mac, you go and get your hair and makeup all done. Not your hair, but you get your makeup all done in Mac before you uh, go out for a nice meal. Treat yourself to some shoes. Hi, uh, you okay? <laughs> Nice beauty spa there as well. You can get your hair done, get a nice massage, some treatments. There you go. Very friendly down here, as you can see. And there's where we're off to, Vegas Grill. Been here for many years, one of my favorites. Gotta get your free glass of carver as well. There's our hotel. So let's stride on in. I wanna show you a really cool feature as you head into Vegas Grill. These are some special entrance stairs. Wait till you see this. Okay, so we've just got our seat here in Vegas Grill and I'll show you the view in a moment, but I want to just show you what sort of things are on offer and what sort of price they are as well. Some lovely looking cocktails, all different funky glasses as well. Then you've got your hot starters. 
And this is, as I said, one of my favourite restaurants. Oh, nearly clicked off there. All of the menu is on these uh, tablets. King prawns, bang bang prawns. I normally go for the uh, garlic bread uh, with cheese with a nice little sort of marinara dipping sauce. This prawn soup is popular. That's what I normally what I go for. And then here's all your different steaks. Tomahawk, Chateaubriand for two, beef wellington, T-bone, grilled fillet steak. I go for this one, the big one, the 350 grammer, 40 euros, and it is gorgeous. That's what I'll be going for tonight, a nice steak dinner. We've got, again, different toppings for the steaks. And if you don't like steaks, you've got chicken tandoori skewer, chicken satay, teriyaki steak skewer, that's a popular one. Jamaican, you've got fajitas, which are really nice. I normally get the mixed ones if I get them. And then different seafood dishes. The menu is huge, all kinds of different seafood. Kids menu as well, so chicken chicken strips, chips, 850, different wines. It's all going on here, and then the desserts on, on the menu, they come round on a gorgeous little trolley, which we will see later on. Yeah, it gives you an idea of prices and everything. I love it in here. And uh, this was connected to a chill out, if anyone ate in chill out in Los Cristianos, this one is connected here. And I will, of course, be getting my Night Strider Carver. Don't forget, mention Night Strider, you'll get a free glass of Carver. Okay everyone, so here is my cheesy garlic bread. I got a nice refreshing large Diet Coke as well because it is getting it hot as the sun goes lower in the sky, but look at that with the nice dipping sauce. Oh, look at that, yes. Well, this is one of my favorite starters. You've got to have a bit of cheese on your garlic bread, but it's the marinara dipping sauce that comes with it. I'm not normally a huge tomato fan, which just goes down really nicely. Mm. Now a lot of you are going to shout at me in a minute because I've ordered my big fillet steak but I've got it very well done. Now a lot of you go crazy about that. You say steak should not be well done, especially fillets, but I love it. Very well done, a bit of that sort of grill taste to it. Love it. How do you have your steak? Some of you are going to go crazy in a minute when you see how well done mine is, but that's exactly how I love it. Okay, so have a look at this beauty then. Here is my well done fillet steak. Piping hot and it looks amazing. That's the sort of charcoal -y taste I was talking about. Nice uh, garlic potatoes there. And I have got some um, satay sauce I like to have with my steak as well, but look at that. Gorgeous fillet steak. 40 euros, but it is a big piece. And a nice little view of the hotel while we eat it. Sun's starting to go down, but oh, I'm gonna dig in here. Well, that steak was unbelievable, and you cannot beat the steaks in Tenerife because they're Argentinian steaks, so remember that, proper Argentinian meat. Now we have got the dessert trolley on the way here, and this is my favorite sight at the end of the meal. Here comes the dessert trolley. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, good evening. Evening, you okay? Yes, can what, I show you? What have we got on the magic menu? Fire away. Okay, Let's this see. is toffee crunch pie with caramel, Nutella, and cheese cream and chocolate toffee. Oh, that looks good. Nutella in there. The chocolate fudge cake. Chocolate, Oof. chocolate and more chocolate. No one's even had a slice of that yet. That could be my little first Cheesecake. slice. Key lime pie, caramel oreo and blueberry. Key lime pie as well. See, it's a tough choice. I have the tiramisu with the biscuit alkaline coffee, cream and chocolate. Oh, and I have the hey. with Nutella and ice cream. I've had them all over the over the years. I've had them all, haven't I? It's a very hard choice. I love the tiramisu. I love the toffee crunch. Love the chocolate cake, the key lime pie, and the new crepe is really good as well. Um, I'm gonna go for. 
Uh, I'm going to go for the, it's got to be the, the toffee crunch the one, toffee please. Crunchy. Yeah, please. Thank, Thank you very much. And you can have some nice brandies as well if you fancy them. What's the, what's the most ordered dessert? For me? Yeah. The toffee. Toffee. Is yes. that what people order the most as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good choice. Thank, Thank you very much. Oh, it's, uh, the staff in here are super friendly as well. I'm looking forward to that. Nice toffee crunch cake. And here we go then. Here is my toffee crunch, uh, which is a bit of like a cheesecake and the crunch. And it is homemade as well, this one. They do make it in-house. That lady there is all purely on desserts all night long. Oh, it looks tasty, doesn't it? We're going to dig in and then we'll be off to the bar in Los Cristianos. And then back to our hotel. Looking forward to staying tonight. Hope that bed's comfy. Well, that really is a top-notch option, that. Really enjoyed my fillet steak, as always, and uh, cooked to perfection. That dessert topped it off as well. Right, so I'm going to go and grab the car now from the hotel, and we'll uh, scoot along to the bar. So many bar options along here as well. It's, it's all about location, all about location. Oh, ooh, I'm full up now. That was gorgeous. So the total bill there was 60 odd euros, so worth it in my opinion. It was a big fillet steak that, it was massive. And there's quality, ate every last bit. And the garlic potatoes, very Moorish. I do, I'll let you know the secret, I normally order an extra portion of them, but I avoided it today. Trying to be a little bit good. But yeah, the atmosphere's already starting along here. Evening vibes, all picks up of a night time, sunset hour as well. Okay everyone, so we've just driven about 10, 15 minutes down the road to Los Cristianos to come to our bar here, which is Buddies. If you do fancy coming down for a cocktail, you're welcome at any time. We've got the little roof terrace as well. We've just got a few bits I've got to do inside before we uh, carry on back to the hotel. I've got to do a little few bits just here. Okay, so the other big main reason I'm really enjoying my stay is, of course, the location. So I've come out this evening to show you exactly where we are location-wise, all of the great restaurants you've got around here as well, because you might get uh, fed up with the hotel food or you might not have gone for the dinner option because you've got so many award-winning restaurants on the street the hotel is on. So we're going to have a good walk along here. Uh, show you some of those restaurants, point them out. You've got a whole different variation. You've got loads of great shopping here, taxis everywhere. I love where we are. This is the famous Golden Mile, and of a night time, this place comes alive. So we're gonna have a good wander around of an evening, show you exactly what is on your doorstep of the hotel at night, including uh, starting off just here at The Bank, which is a gorgeous steakhouse. We've vlogged it before. I'll leave the link to that in the description, but I want to show you the menu in here and we'll take a walk down, show you the atmosphere, show you the shops and so some of those other restaurants because I always do say self-catering is the best for Tenerife. The nighttime restaurants are phenomenal and you've got an unbelievable choice. So let's check out what's on the menus, the value as well and have a good evening walk around. So starting off just here at the bank, which is fairly newly opened, it opened about a year or so ago now and it is very, very nice. This is a very high-end steakhouse, so uh, it is a little bit on the pricier side, but the food is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I normally have the fillet steak, uh, but they've got some gorgeous sides as well. The Brussels sprouts, sprouts with jam and bacon, and also the mac and cheese are very nice, and the dauphinois potatoes. So this is just one of the restaurants right on your doorstep of the hotel. Again, award-winning, part of the Venture Group. And what I'll do as well, if you want to scan and have a good look at the menu before you arrive, you can scan that QR code on the screen. Right, so what we're going to do now is walk straight down towards our hotel. So our hotel is just on the right down there, past that bus. So we're starting off at the end of the Golden Mile. As you can see, there's plenty of taxis around of an evening. So if you want to pop out somewhere else to a different town, loads of them around. We're going to head straight down and have a good look at all the bars and restaurants that are available. So you really do have a big variation, Italian, Chinese, Indian, 
it is all here on this street. Well, if you watch the channel, you'll know I absolutely love the Golden Mile. Daytime, nighttime, this is my favorite place to be. So this is what really sells the hotel to me, is this location. You step out the front door of the hotel, you're on the Golden Mile, the famous Golden Mile, with everything going on. You can step out into the atmosphere if you want to, or you can stay in the hotel out the way. You've got that option. You come out the back of the hotel, you've got that stunning El Camason beach available. I just love where we are. And especially over night time, look at everyone out and about, offer their dinners, offer their meal, meals, having a wander around. There's usually sort of some street performers and stuff down here as well. So I'll have a little look at what this guy's up to over here. But yeah, we'll continue on. The main safari center is a little bit further up, which we're gonna have a good look at. We've got everything on hand. You've got a little pharmacy there. You've got an electronic shop. Be wary of those, always go for a reputable one. My favorite is just down here, underground, called Visanta. And that's where I get a lot of my vlogging equipment from. But yeah, don't forget, down below here is even more shops. Uh, you've got loads of massage parlors down there, beauty spas. Now again, for orientation, further down there to the right is our hotel. But I just want to show you shopping centre down below here because you've got even more shops, restaurants, cafes down here that could be of interest to you right on the doorstep of your hotel. You've got a nice duty-free perfume shop there. We've got Pandora on this street as well. Now a lot of this is closed of an evening. Here's Visanta where I get all of my electronics from. If you forget anything, this is a really nice cafe of a daytime. Does all your fresh juices and stuff. Further down here is a really good um, beauty shop that does really good massages. But a lot of people miss this down below. A lot of people don't realize this is down here. And you've got all kinds as well, different shops, vendors. This was again recently refurbished in the last six to 12 months. Really lifted it down here, all new shop fronts, refurbished, painted, and it looks lovely down here. Really fresh, sunglasses, watches, absolutely everything on your doorstep. So not only is it the hotel itself, but it's the location, it's where you are. You're paying for where you are, you're on the golden mile. As I keep saying, this is the street to be in, in South Tenerife, many will argue. Now I just had to give you some of the taste of the atmosphere up here. It's so family friendly and it is just such holiday vibes. And this is why I love the Golden Mile. Everyone is just having a blast. You've got Hard Rock Cafe. We're gonna look at these other restaurants here, but the atmosphere is just awesome. And there's your hotel right there. And outside, you've got all of this going on of an evening. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna to continue to walk along. Now along here as well, you have got famous shops like Bershka, Zara, Guess, all of those along this street, mixed in with a ton of restaurants. There are too many to show, but I'm gonna show you some of the very uh, famous, very well-known, reputable ones here in Tenerife that have been here for many years, including Bianco, Empire Steakhouse, right on the doorstep of your hotel, Vegas Grill further on. And if you fancy a bit of a hard rock, a bit of a groove, a bit of a boogie for something different. You've got the restaurant here, and you've also got the rooftop bar where you've got live music going on, happy hour cocktails from five till seven, I believe it is. Happy hour cocktails up there on the, on the little uh, sun deck. Then you've got the restaurant downstairs. I'm gonna quickly show you a little bit of Hard Rock Cafe. Now, right outside the Hard Rock as well, you've also got this fantastic evening show here in Tenerife. History of music, the evolution, uh, running all the way from Mozart to Michael Jackson. This is on every Saturday at 9 p.m. Again, we've done a vlog on this on the channel. Over 30 artists on stage, and it's absolutely fantastic. So you can get your box office tickets here, or if you want to, you can scan the QR code here on the screen, 
and have a little look at those tickets. There's the prices as well. It is absolutely fantastic, let me tell you. The auditorium down there underneath Hard Rock Cafe is amazing. It's a beautiful theatre. And again, right on your doorstep if you fancy a little bit of you know, proper evening entertainment, an evening show, something very different, it's right on your doorstep. Okay then everyone, so here we are in front of the very, fam very famous fountain here at the Safari Centre in Las Americas. Now this is probably one of the most photographed pictures that you will see in Tenerife in front of this fountain. It is beautiful. They do an evening fountain show here as well, I believe at 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. or 9 p.m. and 10. And uh, they play the fountains, they do a bit of a sequence with music as well. I love this. Beautiful at night time. And then more famous restaurants all around you. So we're going to head up the stairs and have a look at some of the very popular ones just up here. Just as options for you if you don't fancy going all inclusive or you do fancy treating yourselves. I'm going to show you a couple of the different options that are very much favourites of mine that I've been to for many, many years. Yeah, look at that for a view. Looking back, there's the hard rock there and the stunning fountain. Bianco's then a very famous Italian restaurant in uh, Tenerife. They do have, again, a little bit of live music going on, usually a DJ and stuff on in there as well. I'm sure you've probably seen it all over social media. And then, of course, Imperial Taipan next door. That's where they've got the beautiful teppanyaki table inside, where they cook it on the hot plate in front of you, or you've got the regular Chinese menu as well. And then further down here, you've got the modern British Empire Steakhouse and also Thai Botanico. So beautiful for steak in there. I love the steak and ale pudding. is my particular favourite. Next to that, you've got Harry's Bar as well, which usually shows all the major sports over there. I'm going to give you a closer look at some of these menus, show you the prices as well. But the views from up here as I'm looking down onto the fountain, the rest of the Gold Mile, we can see our hotel in the distance lit up beautifully over there and then the fountain so you can hear the live music playing away there nice view of the cocktail maker on the bar there doing a great job and here's a little look at the menu just an idea of what you've got pizzas about 15 to 17 19 euros different meats ribeye steaks and they some are very famous pastas as well wheel of cheese which they uh, bring over the cheese melt all the pasta into it yeah just sounds awesome in there tonight Okay everyone, so just a friendly word of warning. Uh, around here you do have a few pickpockets that go on and also a few bracelet scams as well. You will get people coming over trying to put bracelets on you and things like that. Happens in every tourist hotspot all over Europe, but just to make you aware of it, look after yourselves. It's a busy area and of course that does attract some uh, unwanted attention. It's not right for anything, but it is something to bear in mind and keep an eye on, watch your stuff and don't get sucked into any of the potential scams that go on. One shop I'm gonna point out is Primal or Primo, and they do a lot of fantastic prices on sun creams, aftershaves, perfumes, beauty products. So ladies, definitely want to check out Primo. It's where a lot of the residents go for all their beauty products. So this is our gorgeous hotel just here, and right opposite, if we go up this little side street here, this leads to a fantastic little bank of bar, bars uh, called the Park La Paz Strip. They've got some wonderful little Irish bars, English bars, sports bars, uh, karaoke bars. I'm going to quickly show you those because if you're looking for any of that sort of atmosphere, it's literally just down here opposite the hotel. All along here, you've got some fantastic bars, Highland Paddy, 
Brahms and Liszt and a bit further down you have got the Soul Suites which is brilliant for live soul music. And listen, right opposite the hotel, all of this, different options, if you fancy venturing out. I just love the buzz and the different variation you've got down here. You've got the bull's head with all live rock music on, we've got live soul music, we've got different cabarets, different karaoke's, hole in the wall, cocktail bars, you name it, it's all right here. I just love the area that the hotel is in. Now if you stepped out of the hotel reception and just turned to your right, just past the Vegas Grill, you've got another two restaurants here, Sauvage and also Flore, very floral in there for your Instagram pictures. Next door to that you've got a gorgeous gelato ice cream shop, so you can come out for a nice little ice cream. And then just at the end there is the Vista Sea Shopping Centre, which has a few shop shops open over daytime, ice cream parlours. But just behind there is, of course, Las Vistas Beach, and that leads on into Los Cristianos, or if you're coming back towards this way, El Camasón Beach as well. So on your doorstep, you step out of your hotel, you're in all of this wonderful action. This whole street awaits you. Even if you just want to walk along, it's soaking the atmosphere. You don't even have to spend any money. It's just so much fun to walk along. It's friendly, it's family vibes. You've got a bit of music going on. It really is brilliant. It's my favorite street in Tenerife, this. Hey everyone, so I am now back in the room and I just want to show you what it looks like of an evening with all the lighting. It's very nice, the lighting's beautiful. Even more now it's gone dark. If I just take you outside as well, just to show you, you can hear the sounds of the ocean. We've got the pool down here as well, lit up gorgeous. So, so peaceful. Yeah, you can just hear the sound of the ocean in the distance. Occasional boat flashing as it goes past. Gorgeous, lovely place just to sit and completely relax. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back. I've just had a uh, really, really nice sleep. That bed was very comfy. Very comfy indeed. I'm a little bit tired. It was a busy night and long day, so I am quite still tired this morning. I'm not really a morning person, but we're gonna head down to breakfast. It's currently 8 a.m., so I wanna see what's going on with breakfast. Might have a bit of a bite, try and get some of that fresh cooked breakfast as well. So we'll go down and see what's on offer. Just packing up my last little bits here. Uh, Temperature-wise, I'm actually a little bit chilly this morning. The air cons work so well, I'm actually a little bit cool. I'd actually be turning that up now uh, if I was staying. But the view outside this morning is lovely to wake up to. The ocean's lovely and flat. I can see the tractor going up and down the beach, cleaning the beach ready for this morning. The uh, pool attendants are down there, making sure the pool's all spot on for when it opens. So, yeah, it was a really nice peaceful sleep as well. Quiet as you heard on the balcony. All you could hear was the ocean and the pool and very peaceful, very peaceful. Didn't hear any doors banging, nothing like that. So, noise-wise... Nice and quiet. Can't really, honestly, cannot really fault it yet. Let's go see what this food is like, because that's the main people's gripe at the moment, seems to be food. So let's go and check out the food, and then I've got to get checked out and get back to work. Now, the only thing I've noticed this morning with the bathroom and, and the whole towel and everything situation is there is no flannels. Tightly a little small towels for your face and stuff. I've noticed there's none of them. So whether you could ask for some maybe, but yeah, no, usually you do get a few little flannels and face towels, but none of those in the bathroom. So how many of you then are early risers and how many of you would be uh, down making sure you've got your favorite spot by the pool now? Let me know. If I could have a lie in, I would be. But, uh, no, let's see what's on the breakfast. I can eat a little bit of bacon or something. I could have a bite. I'm a little bit peckish. Yeah, how many of you would be already down now trying to get in some bed and already had your breakfast? 8am is well early enough for me. Right, here we go then. The P 
here, breakfast. Let's see what we've got available in here today then. So first thing we've got as we come in from the door is the coffee machine, teas, juices, etc. water. I'm gonna get a nice little coffee we've got. All different options, coffee, latte, cappuccino. Well, I think I'll probably just get a nice little cappuccino, I think, to start the day. Now, I like that there is pot tea, so you can have a proper pot of tea. My dad would like that, so you get your different tea bags, and you can actually make a proper pot of tea, take it over with you. I know that would be uh, one of my dad's favourites to do that, a proper pot of tea. And you've got your different coffees, decaf as well here. Right, so, let's have a wander around the breakfast then. You've got your fruit station here. You've got all your fresh fruit. If you want a nice healthy start to the day, probably the best way to start. Little fruit bowl, different fruit options. Fresh juices as well, yogurts. Fresh orange juice there. And then we've got our little toaster station. Ooh, these donuts look good. Now this is more my style here. They, they're really good, they're filled with chocolate them. And you've got little donut rings, cookies as well. It's a good selection that. I like the look of those. With the toaster. Different rolls of bread going on. And then just here you have got the little station here. So this is the one that they're saying is only a little bit warm, but as you can see, there's steam coming off it, so it doesn't look that cold to me. Now the sausages, they, they don't look amazing, but every hotel is the same. Uh, Paradise Park ones were the same. Uh, the ones we stayed, uh, the hotel we stayed in last time, and the decky was the same. Those bacon doesn't look too bad though. Right, let's carry on around, see what else we've got going on. So you can have a uh, little bit of a fresh bagel made here. Hello. Mm, that looks good. Fresh in the pan there. Nice. Carry on along, and we've got some uh, Spanish omelette. If you fancy some Spanish omelette. It's a bit more of a Canarian style breakfast. Look at that there with the eggs. Eggs and peas, the first time I've seen anything like that. There is a lot of different choice. We've got different uh, meats here. Eggs, I believe you can ask for these to be cooked fresh if you want to. Got pasties, hard boiled eggs as well different salmon now we're going on to different uh, cheeses and stuff in this one a little bit of waffle there it's hard to see with the lights because the heat light lamps are on them so they all look a little bit red this is quite nice you've got pancakes again more pasties waffles looks like um that's the dolce de leche different sauces and then in this one, again, it's another little sort of hot station, so the bacon and everything like that and that one. And then here, we've got, again, more choice with all the pastries. There's a lot of choice here. Definitely going to have some of those chocolate glazed donuts. They look amazing. <laughs> they look really good. Don't usually eat at this hour, but I'll certainly nibble on one of those for sure since I've paid for it. And we've got a different type of... Looks like a cheesecake, not too sure. It looks a little bit watery though. It does look a little bit watery, that. Okay, so I've picked up a bit of a strange array of food for breakfast. I'm not really a breakfast person, as I mentioned, uh, but I'll certainly have a coffee and I do like a chocolate donut. 
Um, it did look like it was steaming hot, as you saw on the uh, the hot stand. Um, so I picked up a couple of pieces of bacon just to see a what it's like and b if it is hot, and a little bit of this like French toast looking stuff. I'm not a huge breakfast person. I'm not a fan of the French toast thing. Oh no, I'm not a fan of that. Well, whatever that French toasty stuff was, I'm not a fan because it's cinnamon. I don't do cinnamon. Chocolate donuts, lovely. Um, the bacon is cold. I will say that. The bacon is cold, so I can see where people are coming from with the whole the food's cold thing, but I chose not to go up and get it cooked fresh just because I'm not going to eat much. It's not worth me getting a chef to cook me bacon and stuff because I'm just not a big breakfast person, but I think if I was staying here, I'd make sure I'd get something fresh cooked if I wanted it definitely hot. You had loads of cereals there, quite a large array compared to the two breakfasts that we've seen previously on our stays. There was a lot more choice in this one, uh, but it does need to be a little bit hot, and I'm sure they'll get there. They do need to work on getting it nice and hot. But every sausage I've seen in all of these hotels has all been that same looking hot dog sausage. Uh, you ain't gonna get your British sausage. You're not really gonna get your English bacon. It is Spanish bacon. So you're not really gonna get English bacon in the, in the hotels either, uh, in Tenerife usually. But now the staff are very pleasant, they're very on it as well. As soon as you come through the door, they ask how many. Uh, it's a big party of you. They, she, the lady signals to another staff member further down and asks if you want inside, outside. So the staff are on it. So it's not particularly hot, but you can get it hot by getting it cooked fresh at one of the stations. Just ask one of the chefs and they'll cook you some fresh bacon. They'll cook you a fresh egg. Um, you've got the cereals, loads of fruits, loads of juices plenty of it as well there's not much just like a few chocolate donuts you've got to wait for it to be restocked there's plenty of it so again you can't knock it too much i think they will get through the teeth and problems it does need to be hotter i do agree there was no option for me to remove breakfast otherwise i would have i'm not a breakfast guy so i would have rather removed the breakfast and saved a bit of money but that's the, the standard comes with breakfast, so I might as well try a little bit of it. I'll have my donuts, have a nice coffee. We'll do me nicely. You've got the man cleaning the pool behind me, so it's quite relaxing. So I've just come out, everyone, after breakfast, just to show you the beachfront here as well. If you want a little bit of a jog, a bit of a morning walk, or you want to come down and get your sunbed, or a little morning swim in the ocean. It's beautiful and peaceful down here. The ferry's coming in as well. Back and forth to Glagamera. They're even watering the grass there. People will be on there sunbathing later. It's so nice to just come out of breakfast, walk out of a gate. And here's the beachfront now on the promenade. Just have a little morning walk into Los Cristianos, watch the ferry dock. Or you could walk in the opposite direction, walk into Las Americas, watch the morning surfers. There's a guy over there having a swim already in this gorgeous water in front of us. Beautiful. Now, bear in mind, I did pay for the ocean view room. If you don't go for ocean view, you very well likely will get mountain view. And there's a little look at the sort of view you're going to have right up into Mount Tady National Park. Gorgeous mountainous landscape. So unless you're on the sides, sort of in here, most likely you're going to be out looking out of the front, which will give you a bit of a street view, but also this quite nice mountain view. It's not the most clear day today at the moment. We have got a little bit of a Kalima in, so it does look a little bit hazy, but you would still get nice mountainous views up there. We are stepping out onto this, everyone doing their morning runs, their morning jog having a nice walk. So I'd be straight out here now, wandering into Los Cristianos, watching the ferries, grab a little uh, leche, leche coffee somewhere. But you can certainly come and have a nice little morning beach stroll, dip your toes in the water. Lovely.
Okay, well, I think this is the perfect place to round off our hotel tour and review of the Med Palace. So how did I rate my stay? I'm sure you probably guessed very, very highly. I don't think you can beat the location. Stepping out onto this, stepping out onto the Golden Mile, you just can't get that everywhere else. Uh, the food, I don't think it was quite as bad as, as people made out. Um, I was well warned about it, which in some ways could be a little bit disappointing. I mean, you were already put off breakfast before you could even get to it to see it. I'd read and seen and heard so many things that before you could even get to breakfast, it was like already drilled into you that breakfast wasn't gonna be good, uh, which was a little bit of a shame. Um, it does need to be hotter though, I do agree, definitely, especially for the price. But for me, I'm always on the side of going self-catering anyway, so breakfast for me was a bonus. I'd have removed it if I could have. Um, and I wouldn't be bothered about lunch, evening meals or snacks because I'd be eating out anyway. So for me, Tenerife has got to be self-catering. You saw one of the restaurants, you saw all the other options as we walked around, you saw the prices. Personally, if it was my decision, I would not pay the extra and I would do self-catering. Go and support all these great small local businesses as well, these restaurants, bars that uh, battled away through the pandemic. They've managed to stay open, so go and give them some support is what I would say. The room, I think, is lovely, modern, sleek, definitely my style, my style of decor, things like that. I'd have a lot of my own apartment like that, the nice frame around the TV, the lighting. I thought it was really clever with the little bedside lights. Did need a couple of extra towels in the bathroom, uh, maybe some bars of soap and stuff as well. They only had the main, those main little sort of soap dispensers. Uh, there was no bars of soap. Uh, we did get a bottle of water in the end. That would be nice if it was in the fridge when you came in. But we did get a bottle of water, nice little chocolate. Uh, the place is spotlessly clean, out on the pool deck, cleaning away this morning. Uh, the towels were big, fr uh, fresh, new pool towels that I got yesterday. The towels in the room were spot on. Honestly, I cannot particularly fault it that much, especially compared to our stay a few months ago in the one in Costa Adeki. That one knocked spots off it, absolutely. Even the breakfast here knocked spots off that one. Um, even with it being not particularly hot from that hot station. We had the views coming out, brilliant. I would definitely stay here again, definitely recommend it. I love that, you know, they weren't constantly trying to charge you for this and that, and oh, you need a deposit for the safe, and it's 250 a day, and how many days do you want it for, and here's the key, and oh, you want to pay for parking, it's this much per day, and you need this pass, and you'll need your pass to scan in. They're not doing all of that, which, it becomes a right faff in some of the other hotels and the cost does add up as well. Free to park, straight through the barrier. You want to use the safe, scan your room key. Job done. None of this deposit and money and some of them will charge you a five or a day for a safe, which I find a little bit crazy. So that being all included was nice. Every staff member I've met has been dead friendly, even though I'm filming sometimes uh, when they see the camera, people get a little bit intimidated or they're a bit like, what's he doing? Every single one of them was like, How's it going? Can I help you with anything? So yeah, very friendly staff. Absolutely brilliant, highly recommend it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. If you've stayed here, let me know. If you're going to stay here, let me know. Thoughts on the prices. It is a little bit pricey, but it's where you are. You're on the golden mile. Um, you're stepping out onto this, it's, it's location, uh, a lot of what you're paying for. Uh, do let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching all the way along to this point. Do please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm making videos here every single day. I'm off to work now with the cars, uh, but I'm always up and down here, live, walking along the promenade, excursions, Siam Park, uh, you name it, it's pretty much already on the channel. So uh, do join our other 84,000 odd subscribers and uh, hit that button. Thank you very much. And uh, it leaves one more thing to say, and that is, of course, stride on to the Med Palace.